good morning guys welcome to today today is saturday and it is a beach day beach day beach hair today we're taking an extra special guest to the beach with us she is our cousin her name is blueberry and i'm going to introduce you to her right now everybody meet blueberry and blueberry's favorite food is celery and obviously her name is blueberry because she's got this blueberry colored amazing hair say hi blueberry she also has blueberry colored hands. In fact, if you look closely, you'll see blueberry splotches all over her entire body. Her neck, yeah, all over. But anyway, this is blueberry. She also looks, she looks a lot like Gabby, but she's way more quiet than Gabby. We are also taking our other cousin, blueberry pie. I'm gonna introduce you to blueberry pie. Hi, blueberry pie. Hi. She looks a lot like Sophia. She's got the pie colored hair but then she has a streak of blueberry. Let's see, let's show them the whole blueberry streak. Wait, where is it? There it is, a whole blueberry streak. Blueberry and blueberry pie, our amazing cousins are coming to the beach with us. Before we can go to the beach, I need to find my purse. Wish I left my purse in the barn last night, you guys. Hi ponies, oh you guys pooped so much and nobody cleaned it. We'll be back, okay, we'll be back. I'll be back. I'll see you soon. Before we can go to the beach, we also have to go to the grocery store because who can go to the beach without good beach food? We're gonna do that right now, Sam and I. But before we go to the grocery store, I wanted to tell you guys it's time for Car Talks with Laura. I wanted to tell you guys there's been some drama. There's been some drama over on TikTok. Somebody made a video and included us in it as one of their favorite YouTubers. And then all these girls, young girls, came on there. Actually, there were maybe three. And they were going on about how awful we were and how she cries all the time. And even though her horse died, she should suck it up and be real. And, and that they never cry and she should ride her own horse. And just so much drama. And there were so many people there trying to defend us. And then I went there, ignored them all. Just joking. <laughs> I'm supposed to ignore them all, but then I like, talk back to them but I talk back to them in a kind way the girl that said that she stopped watching when Sophie stopped riding Finn I said that's really sad because you missed the best part which was when Sophie started riding Finn again anyway I just want to tell you guys don't worry about all that kind of stuff the more you share your life the more real you are the more you share the bad stuff the more hate you're gonna get and it's okay God does not intend for every single person on the planet to like you it doesn't matter how good you are how kind you are how beautiful you are how smart you are you name it it doesn't matter and what matters is that everybody has a different plan God made people different so that they would like different things to drive them in the direction that he wants them to go so it is okay that people don't like us we all just gotta ignore and move on we just gotta try that I'm gonna get good at that you guys we're gonna work on that together you and I but yeah that was the drama the more we go along there are gonna be more people out there that don't like our channel but that's okay i just want you guys to know that i'm not upset or worried about all the drama that happened over there at tiktok and you shouldn't be either yum i've discovered the secret of wearing masks in public find one that's breathable i don't know if breathable is counterproductive but this mask it's a little bit big for me i might have to adjust it it literally makes me be able to breathe. It doesn't fit so tight, but it covers my face. Feels amazing. Love it. Crazy thing happening. Here's a yard sale. I love yard sales. We don't have to wear a mask. I'm gonna look. Maybe they have some horse stuff. It's a country yard sale. That's the kind of remote control we need. We'll never lose it. Nothing there for us. It's better, I think, when you have young kids that can like buy toys and stuff. Maybe we're out of the yard ceiling stage. So we kept our rooster out over the night. We put him in that brown thing and we left it here. And we treated him for bugs and parasites and worms and all the stuff. But it's really hot today and I didn't want to keep him in that thing. You guys know it was the thing that we kept our baby chickens in. So we ended up putting him in and it's been totally uneventful. It's been a couple hours. So usually I would wait a week but as you can see, things are going really well. He's happy to have his own little brood of girls and our girls are just so friendly. One might be getting broody because they don't like me taking Yeah, Sophie thinks one's getting broody, but they're really young for broody. But like, 
and they're laying eggs again. So I changed up their water. I have these two waterers. I told you that we had two chickens were laying and then they both stopped. One stopped and then another one stopped. And I tried out our water to make sure because chickens need a lot of water and it didn't seem like, like the water was disappearing out of there but it didn't seem like they were able to get much water out of there. I don't know if it was leaking or like, I don't know what was happening but they were run, like the, anyway, I switched those waters. We're gonna go shopping so we can get a new waterer. A bigger one, one ready for winter because these chickens are staying through the winter. Comment down below which two are laying. What two do you think are laying? Have you heard him cockadoodle do yet? No, I heard them screaming this morning. I think none of them cockadoodle do. Like I'm still kind of worried that that guy in the back is a Mom. is a rooster, but he looks the same as all the other hurt girls. He should be there. Imagine. Imagine we ended up with two roosters still. It's 104. It's 104. That's why we planned a beach day. This view never ever gets old. This big, huge, handsome boy going to his girl. And then these two lazy bones. Finn always be thinking about it. He's always like, should I go or should I stay? See, he's always looking. So if he's laying down the law, she's telling him, you better come right now. And he's like, should I go? Uh-oh. Trouble now. I've never seen Sophie walk that fast in my whole entire life. Still not going. It's a standoff. Stormy's moving. Stormy's making his way. Sydney's making his way. Who's going to win? outside in this crazy weather. I see a lot of horses outside in this crazy weather. It's totally fine, but our horses like it better when they're not super hot. And to be honest, I feel like less trouble happens when they're not in distress and they're not super hot. But at the same time, I can't say that either because I feel like they get in, they, I feel like they get themselves into a lot of trouble in the arena. The toys that we made for them, Chino destroyed them all. All right, so you guys see all these cars, all this traffic. It's because the beach is already full. All the parking in the beach is full. So people are walking in and it's quite far. But the beach is full. There are literally two beaches in this area. They're both massive. Like we were gonna go to the dunes. We went there recently and that's not that big. The other beach is way bigger and it's completely full. So we can't go to that beach. So now on to plan B. We're gonna go to another beach. All right, we drove for hours to get back. We have to drive like an hour to get to that beach, an hour to get back. Like it was crazy driving. Our butts are all sore. We're here. We're at beach, beach number two. Just uh, this is our backup beach. Who wants to make bets on how long Gabby's hair dye lasts while well, she's in the water? We are home from the beach already. Uh, we had a really good swim, but. Something about the beach, I just love it. Laying in the water, floating around with my kids and just hanging out. It's so super fun and relaxing on a really hot day. But we're home now and I ran to check the chickens before supper because I'm obsessed with our new rooster. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I love roosters. Like, I don't know, I just think they're so pretty and less catty than a chicken, like than a hen. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. People say roosters are bad and that they fight and that they are mean. Our roosters have always been so cute and, are, and friendly and sweet. And my girls, like you're supposed to wait a week before you put chickens together. But literally, that boy just 24 hours later just popped right in and I don't know, he just fits in. Isn't he so cute? And holy heck, we got another egg! One of 
of our chickens started laying. This is the first time we've ever got three eggs in one day. I knew it. I had the weirdest feeling that if we got a rooster, that the other girls would start laying. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just felt like that. Or it's the water. What do you guys think? Is that so cool? Like, Sophie's gonna be amazed. I can hardly wait to tell her. And there's nothing but... I have loved the sound of a rooster crowing so much. Like, it's crazy. And this egg is the tiniest egg I've ever seen in my life. It is an egg. No. <laughs> what is it? It's not an egg. <laughs> it's so little. Okay, so that's the size of a spoon. And that's the, the egg. And look it. It's not even as big as a, a spoon. That's how small the egg is. Yep. So it's one of the ones that we had since it was a baby and it's, it's the very first egg that it ever <laughs> There's so much about horses I feel like you only learn from experience. Like little things that you don't really read about but that you learn through experience. Like banamine can cause colic even though it's treated for, even though it's the treatment for colic. Or things like butte can cause an abscess in certain circumstances, things like that. Those are the things that I really have a hard time because I don't have the experience and I don't know. And I'm learning little things like that slowly, but surely, but there are so many things I don't know. That's why what I'm gonna say next might sound super dumb to you guys, but it makes sense to me. So here's the crazy thing about Finn. We came down to let the horses back out because it's actually really nice out right now. So this is 31 degrees Celsius, but it's actually gorgeous out there. So here's the thing. You guys have seen that Finny has been this gorgeous, amazing pony the last couple of weeks, or the last week or so. Like, probably the last two weeks. He, he hears me talking about him. He knows him, I said his name and he knows. His ears are going back and forth. And he's looking at me. He's like, what's happening? Hey, Finny boy. So Finn's been this spectacular pony that I don't know what happened. Like, I have no idea. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what I do know. I do know that all of a sudden, Finn started drooling like a crazy man, and he started listening. So then I started thinking like, why the heck is he drooling so much? And then I realized that clover in the field can make horses drool a lot. Storm, be nice. And then I started thinking, he started drooling right at the point when he started getting really calm. And then I'm thinking, holy heck, clover makes Finn, calm, Clover. So I sent a message to our trainer and said, I think Clover is what Finn needs. Finn needs Clover, it calms him. And she, she laughed at me and said I was crazy because it's not true, but I think it's true. So what I want to know from you guys is, is what your experience with Clover is. I know, hey, sometimes it can be bad for them, especially certain kinds of Clover, especially if it, especially if it gets moldy. It can be bad for them. Too much of it can be bad for them. But have you ever tried a supplement with clover in it? Do they make supplements with clover in it? I want this fin forever. Is the rest of it can be bad. My second question is, look at me, Soph. Little toot. What do you think Sophie had for supper? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Three cockadoodle doodle doos in a row. I know, I love our rooster. I love that he cockadoodle doos. I love that he's calm. He's I me. yelled at you because I thought you were driving the tractor down. Oh, was it that? Yeah. Because no. he needs the thing. To lift hay? Yeah, to bring hay. Tomorrow starts Sunday, our fresh new week, which will involve I show he, prep. I thought tomorrow was a weekend. It is the weekend. It's the, uh, some people think that Sunday is the first day of the week. Some people think it's Monday. Tomorrow starts us getting ready for our new kitchen. We have to do shopping for that. We have to do shopping for tack, show clothes, because the girls have no show clothes that fit them. <laughs> we have uh, so many exciting things coming up this week. I cannot wait we to share it with tape. you. We have tape. We have tape. Tape. And purple in my hair, which I'm going to have to show with. If you're wondering where... Blueberry is, she's having a shower because when you go to the beach, you have to have a shower right after the minute you walk in the door. Sounds like Gabby. Yeah, she's just like Gabby. That blueberry is just like Gabby. Anyway, that blueberry is it. Blueberry pie. She's this blueberry pie. <laughs> Looks like Sophie with the dirt on her face, with the food on her face. I got tape. Anyway, uh, that is it for today's video, you guys. Oh, oh. You know what tape's used for? What? I'll show you. 
tape is used for this. Taking off all your whiskers. I don't have whiskers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow for another amazing day. And don't forget, you're amazing just the way you are. Whiskers and all. Don't you know that you're beautiful?